friends, who's ready to play some Sims? I'm ready to play some Sims. I asked you guys in my last video if you wanted me to. You were like, yes, Sims. And I love that about you. I still have not mastered the autofocus on my camera. I don't know if it's, I don't know what it's gonna be doing. My face is gonna be small for most of this video. Anyway, I'm gonna put my headphones on now. I thought I could do this without headphones and then I tried it and I can't. And now I'm really starting to see why people put their hair in front of their headphones. I used to be like, why would you do that? That seems like it would get annoying. Okay, that's, <laughs> so hair's going behind my head and I'm gonna look. I'm starting a legacy challenge. This legacy challenge is the star sign legacy challenge and you guessed it, it's gonna be involving the zodiac signs. There are 12 generations in this legacy challenge going through the zodiac signs starting with Aries. This is what it says as the backstory for the Aries character. You have always been an independent and confident person, even since childhood. You knew what you wanted to do and had a plan to get there. You dreamed of becoming, no you would become a politician with the aim of making the world a better place. You wouldn't let anything get in your way and put all of your efforts into climbing to the top in the world of politics. You make friends with like-minded people and bump heads with those you don't get on with as well. Your main issue is that you never liked it when people tell you what to do. You often get easily frustrated when you think people are saying that you are unable to do something. You never turn down the challenge and have always been extremely passionate about all of your interests. Anything bold and daring, you'd try it. The first time you visit Mount Komorebi, you know this is where you want to be. The snowy slopes means that you can spend as much time as you want rock climbing, skiing, snowboarding, anything to give you an adrenaline boost. You live for a life of thrills, always on the edge, heart racing. You have always been loyal, sticking by your friends through thick and thin. It's the same in relationships. In your eyes, love is built on trust and loyalty and you would never forget this. You will always fight for what you believe is right and support the people you love no matter what. Sounds like an Aries. So the requirements for this generation are that any partner must be a good friend before you start romancing them. I honestly think that's just good life advice in general. Never cheat on a partner. You must never initiate a breakup or divorce, but your partner can if it fits the story. Never go down without a fight. If anyone is negative towards you first, you must use at least three mean or mischievous actions straight away. Master any extreme sport, have at least two tattoos, dye your hair a bright color at least twice in your young adult life, get pregnant slash get someone pregnant from pregnant from public woohoo. When your firstborn child is a toddler, adopt a puppy. When this dog becomes an elder, adopt another puppy so you have two dogs in your household. You should keep repeating this so your children always have at least two dogs in the household. Reach at least level seven of the politics career, reach at least level three of the extreme sports enthusiast aspiration. And there was supposed to be color associations with each of these generations. They had separate ones on the challenge website for the uh, actual rules, but I'm going to be going by the traditional color associations of the sign. So starting with Aries, which is red. Hi friends. So this is being filmed after the fact. I forgot to film the first like 20 minutes of gameplay, which was tragic and in that 20 minutes was the character introduction. I was gonna leave it out but then I figured that it's kind of important that you guys get introduced because she's kind of the main character. Here is the woman of the hour. Her name is Phoenix Star. I was going for a fire inspired name. Her name is Phoenix, so that's just what I landed on. And then the family last name which we're gonna be carrying through the entire challenge is Star and I don't love it, but I think it's on theme. The traits that she needed to have for the challenge were hot-headed, self-assured, and adventurous. For her aspiration, she needs to complete the extreme sports enthusiast, meaning she wants to explore Mount Komorebi's wilderness and participate in extreme snow sports. And then because we picked this aspiration for her, she's also getting the high metabolism trait. Here she is, here's Phoenix. Um, young adults, her usual. And I tried to match her outfits to the color red. And I also tried to keep in mind that she is a political sim who is active. So trying to capture that energy can't say that I did a fantastic job, but she's wearing clothes. I do use mods and custom content, a lot of custom content actually. Everything she's wearing right now I believe is custom content except maybe the shoes. She also has a custom content default skin on. Um, I will link the default skin because it's the skin that every single sim in this game is going to have because I used to put on skin details for my sims and um, change their skins that way, but 
I just didn't like how tedious that was and so I would rather them just default have the same skin so all the sims kind of look like they're in the same universe you know so this is her everyday fit and I'll take you guys through the rest of them here is formal and I do have her hair changing throughout all of these um, anyway there's her formal look and then we have her athletic look I love this hair this was the hair I originally had on her but uh, I ultimately ended up making this for her athletic and I want to believe her swimwear or maybe hot weather might also be this fit. But yeah, something she can work out in, something simple. This is her sleepy time fit, something cozy. And I also gave her hair more like a ruffled bed tossed look. Here we have her party attire. A lot of these outfits are leaning more towards warm clothing because she lives in Mount Comoraby so that's probably where she's gonna spend most of her time although you'll see in the video that she's actually wearing her hot weather outfit for a lot of it here is her swimwear and we have hot weather and cold weather I always feel so mean taking the arm hair and the leg hair off of my sims but uh, I just find it very annoying. I'm sorry. Those are her outfits. I may give her more as the game progresses and as she ages and outgrows a lot of these. But this is what we're looking at for Miss Ma'am. And I think she's gorgeous. I don't have any makeup on her because I usually don't have any makeup on my Sims. But yeah. She's cute. Anyway, so that is the character introduction. Here is Miss Phoenix Star. She's gonna carry on 12 generations of this legacy challenge. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Okay, hi guys. I don't think I was recording any of that gameplay. Any of it. I played through a little bit of The Sims. I even, look, I got done two of her little aspirations and none of it was being recorded. So, okay. Anyway, so here we are on Mount Komorebi with our extreme sports enthusiast, and I have had her try snowboarding, and she did not like the snowboarding. She immediately was like, this is awful, and I hate it. I'm going to let her choose her likes and dislikes because I think it gives them personality. Unless it severely interrupts my gameplay. Then I'm not having any of it. She's not feeling good about herself at all because she's PMSing, and she's terrible terrible at skiing but she just got to level two so you know I don't know why you're complaining before we get off of this mountain I want to go check out a vending machine to see if we can purchase a deterrent why oh man she's not having a good day I'm sorry this is my fault oh actually really quick really quick I have a mod downloaded so that they have attractiveness preferences. Oh, scope the surroundings. Yeah, so she can stand here and scope the surroundings. And she didn't like anyone here. Okay, fine. Why don't we hit a vending machine really quick then? First level of the aspiration out of the way. Or I can just cancel out of it immediately. That works too. Okay, so... <laughs> Oh, my giant stinging hornets. Yeah, I don't want that. Let's get one of those. Boom. Just like that, too easy. First episode, already got one of those out of the way. And she's a self-assured sim, so she's super confident, but she's not because she's very sad, and now she's just plain old uncomfortable. Level three, you have rock climbing skill, a hiking trail, and actively ski for three hours. I was just doing that. I was actively skiing for three hours. What are you getting? A little BLT. How's that? Is that good? Oh. <laughs> oh. That's good. So, when do you work? Two days. Your needs are fine. Oh, she's just uncomfortable because she's PMSing and she got the rental equipment. Why don't we buy uh, uh, actual, actual skis for you? Yeah, $200. That's fine. Oh man, that means I have to do that house tour again when we get back to the house. If she's then she should quite honestly yeah she should go skiing on this like for a while if you're feeling fine let's see this 
One thing I don't understand about the um, snow pack is that why does the camera click off of them when they start skiing? I was following her and now I'm not. And then I have to do it again. And then when she gets down to the bottom, I'm gonna have to do it again because it's gonna unlock from her. Why? Why? Aww, she's doing it. She's really doing it. Watch this. Ready? And she's gone. Oh, you're having fun. You're having a good time. Look at you. You only need to pee a little bit. Go again. Ooh, she didn't fall on her ass this time, so that's good. Aw, she's, she's just having a terrible day. She went to the mountain to have a good time, and she's just having the worst time of her life. The best part of this is that she is actually by herself. Like, there's no reason why she's staying except for me forcing her to stay. Oh, she's a hot-headed sim. They tend to be angry. Well, now she's mad and anxious and sad. It hasn't been three hours yet? Are you kidding me? Surely it's been three hours. I started her at like nine. Okay, fine, you can pee. You can pee. Go, just go pee. Yeah, that was awful. Just go home, really. Yeah, I, <laughs> go home, please. I'm so sorry I made you stay on the mountain until 3 a.m. All right, we're back. And I don't know if you guys can tell right now in my voice, I am sick or I'm recovering from sickness. So my voice is a little crackly. So sorry about that, but let's do a little house tour since I don't think I was recording the first time I did the house tour. Here is our house. There is our tree. I was wondering where that went. Um, I tried to keep it as red themed as possible because, you know, this is the Aries generation and Aries color is red. This was already a house that is in Mount Komorebi. I just kind of went in and redid the furniture in the kitchen. Oh, she decided to sleep in the guest room. Anyway, that's the guest room. Here we have the entrance. And that, this is the table that came with the house. That's besides like this and this. I think that's the only furniture that actually stayed. Oh, that and the shelves. Here's upstairs. We have a little bathroom. She's got a little desk with some books. And there's her bed, a bedside table, a clock. Fun stuff, all red, very strange of a style, but it was hard for me to find um, reds that looked good together. Some of these honestly don't, but I'm choosing to ignore it. Anyways, she's sleeping off the night that she had, and do we have work today? No, we have work in 23 hours. I am assuming that for her politician career, she's probably going to need to increase her charisma. So why don't we go out this morning once she's up? I'm gonna have her take a bath. Oh, the welcome wagon is here. Oh man, she just got in the bath. Maybe we can take the bath really quick and they won't hate us. Who is this woman? She looks very nice. I just wanna see. <gasps> really? Really? Both of these guys? That's not crazy at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these two are married. Probably shouldn't have done that. That's a little weird. If I end these early, do you think they will get mad at me? A lot of times I just cancel them without even talking to them at all, and they definitely don't like that. Glad we got a chance to chat, yeah. Um, she actually is still hungry. I am gonna have her go out. Why? Ah, oh, because of these fools? Get out of here. Oh no, they like us. They like us. We're good. We made a good first impression. Why don't we go to the bar? I don't think I've been to this a lot before. Oh, our neighbor's here. She's just like, ah, yeah. I'm headed over there too. Let's see what her favorite drink is. If it's not red, I'm going to be mad. Choose wisely. Ooh, what is that? Not entirely red, but it has a strawberry in it, so I'll allow it. We'd love to have you join Upper Crusts. I don't know about that, Mila. I have no idea what that means. Okay, now let's have her scope the surroundings since there's some people here that maybe are not married to each other. Okay. Okay. These two. 
Now, really quickly, I'm going to do a respectful introduction to these two gentlemen here. And then I'm going to see what she thinks of them. So she just finds him a He has a spouse. She is in to married dudes. And he's perceived as attractive, but only attractive and not very attractive. We're hungry. And I was like, we'll just go somewhere that doesn't have food. And then she didn't eat. And now the only food she can have. Oh, wow. Oh, this is like a whole restaurant. I get it now. Why don't you have, ooh, a pretzel. God, I love pretzels. And then I have been seeing this little thing. Uh, she is on her period and I don't have any tampons for her. So that's gonna be a little bit of a problem. I will send her to the store as soon as she's done eating because I want her needs to be better. God damn, can I just turn the celebrities off? I hate celebrities in this game. I just don't really like the realism attached or the, I guess the non-realism attached to the fact that like celebrities are everywhere in this game. It's like every time I go to a lot, there's a celebrity. What are you doing? You're behind the bar and you chill out for a sec. Oh. <laughs> All right. No, I'm kind of getting it. I like your fan base. All right, enough messing around. Let's get you taken care of. Why can't I? Okay, I'm gonna take her home because I can't have her go to the store while she's here, apparently. Apparently that's just not something that she's capable of doing. She needs to go home first. Probably to change her underwear, in all honesty. Now you can, for some reason you needed to go home. She's playful because she's wearing her shoes indoors. You freaking goof. What is that? Like, that's your own house rule. <laughs> it's just so silly. Let's give her some tampons. Perfect. I just, I wanted her to, uh, like, make friends. I wanted to, she needs to have kids, like, early on in life. And she needs to be good friends with the people before she even starts romancing them. Like, this timeline is not adding up for me. You need to go. I don't care if you need to be. So... Let's see how your needs are before we start. Pretty good. Why don't you go ahead and climb? Do the gentle incline, because you've literally never done this before, and that would be an awful idea to not do that. There she goes. She's climbing. This machine just feels like it's asking for an accident, okay? She acquired the rock climbing skill. She already got that marked off on her aspiration. And maybe I'll just have her do this for three hours. Who's this? Oh, you're a teenager. Sorry. <gasps> Who's this? Uh, the whole gang's over here. You're sad again? Oh, it's just because she's PMSing. Aw, man. Sorry. Honestly, me too. Aw, she's going to go cry in the mirror? That's sad. Oh, this looks kind of good. Look. She's like, come on now. You know it's just PMS. Now. What do you mean you're too tired to do that? Okay, then can you just go here and maybe mingle? Since you can't do anything that I want you to do. No, she can't because she's sad from PMS. Okay. <gasps> Who is she? I want to be friends with this one. Let's get to know her a little bit. Don't tell a gross joke. Don't argue about what, don't, none of these are good. Let's ask about her career. She's walking away. We're not gonna do that. She's standing right here. She's not walking away at all. Lou, put some clothes on, you fool. What are you doing? You know what, Never mind. you do you. Yeah, wait, 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 be my friend. Talk about the sunny weather. It's dark outside. Um, do an impression. Tell a joke about Martians. She said she can hang out with us, that's fantastic. Let's talk about the hot temperature. Do some small talk. We're not gonna complain about the heat, that's too much temperature talk. Tell an engaging story. And then maybe get to know again. Dislikes cooking and likes fitness, okay. We also like fitness. Hi Paka. She's loyal, okay. Maybe she won't be our best friend. That's kinda sad. Will you be our best friend? Let's see. Go ahead and complain about your problems to this stranger. 
Low key, why does Paka? Y'all see that? Just saying. These guys are chatting it up. Never mind. She's gonna go take a shower. You honestly, you stink. It's gross. You should take a shower. So y'all are just, you just went into the bathroom to chat. This looks normal. This is actually how people behave. I just want to get to know these people. So that I can see if she's like, um, compatible with them at all. Still know people that she's really been like, I like this person, but maybe she just doesn't know them enough. She's taking a bath and she's feeling confident. Why don't you admire yourself and then practice your speech while we're here at the gym? Yay! Okay, you reached level two, you're good. Why don't you go pee? Is she still tired from this or can I have her? Oh, I can have her do it again. Never mind, you're not leaving yet. It is 6 a.m. When do we have work? <gasps> Ooh, wait. <sighs> That's not fair. Oh, no. That's not fair. <gasps> she likes rock climbing, though. Hey, we found it. We found the sport that she's going to do. It's going to be rock climbing. No, 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 don't get on there. No, no, you're <laughs> wasting so much time and you wait for work. I don't know why I never use the travel button to bring the Sims home as opposed to just telling them to go home because when you tell them to go home, they have to walk, like, across three lots before they'll go there. But when you travel, it's immediate. Stop. Halt. Buzz. I don't know which one's better quality. No, why am I not paused? Sleep. Sleep, please just go to sleep, just go to sleep. There's not enough time. And you need to get up. <gasps> She's late! Oh no, I thought it was nine! Oh god, what is this? Okay. I would be sad too if that was my work trip. Oh! <laughs> the shoes really pull it all together. That's crazy. I'm gonna have her work hard. Maybe that'll make up for the fact that she was entirely late. Oh. Yes, it will. She's getting a promotion today. Okay. It's too easy. Show up late on the first day and you get promoted. That's how it's done. Everybody take notes. Stop sleeping in that bed. You're actually not supposed to sleep in that bed. You're supposed to sleep in this one. Go to bed. It's 3 p.m., but you'll be fine. I was right, so we did need charisma skill to level up on our career. Oh, she wants to come over to hang out. Yes! We're just taking a little nap. But we will be right down to promote our cause to you because you are our best friend. Compliment her outfit. You're charismatic now. And then why don't we promote the cause for our work? When do we have work again? 15 hours, okay. Why is she flirty right now? Ma'am. Oh, she is bisexual. Maybe this is the route we'll go down. Maybe she's into women instead of men. Yeah, we're gonna make dinner. Get our cooking skill up a bit. Serve some... It's gotta be garden salad because I'm really not in the mood to deal with a fire. Cook up a salad for your friends. You better not be leaving, I just started the salad. Oh, she's taking out our trash! Oh. Maybe we will go for this woman. Doesn't say that she's with anyone. And she's a professional athlete. Oh. These are things to consider. I would love if you guys want to create sims to put into the world. I usually do it myself and I probably will just create a bunch of like NPC sims for there to be in the world. Um, but uh, if you guys want to do that and you upload it to the gallery, I'll... I don't really know how that quite works yet, how I'm going to be able to see them. But if you guys want to put sims in there, that would be greatly appreciated because I find the process of creating NPC sims to... She didn't even eat the salad! She didn't even try the salad. I don't know how I feel about that. 
I know, you're so tired. I'm so sorry. Um, go ahead and pee, and then you can go to sleep. So we're sleeping. What am I doing, actually? Because I should have the auto lights on. Because that will help with the bills. When do you work? Three hours. I was about to say, let's go to the gym today. That's not a good idea. Let's not go to the gym today. She just needed fun, and she said that she liked the rock climbing. We're just going to have a leftover salad for breakfast. Is it freshen up, or is it check yourself out? I think it's check yourself out. She thinks she looks very attractive. She's a self-assured sim, huh? That makes sense. You're going to go back upstairs after that? You have to go to work in, like, nine minutes. You have to go to work, like, right now. Yeah, you goof. What were you doing? Probably trolling the forums, huh? What's your problem? Yeah, bye. Off to work. What do you want? I barely know you bros. Kind of a weird... is a weird ask. Alright. Amazing. So she got home from work. She's dazed because I've been making her work really hard at work. But look how close we are to the next promotion. Um, I was really hoping we could start on the romancing. We maybe probably started romancing Miss... If anyone knows how to pronounce her name, I would really appreciate that assistance in the comments because I can't and I do feel bad about it. I think I'm going to wrap things up here. Yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.